WYLN Studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts now. Good evening. It's Tuesday, September 20th, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. A major fire happened near Ringtown last night. Four RVs parked outside of a home went up in flames. Those flames could be seen from miles around. Authorities say the homeowner, who wasn't home at the time, allows people to park their RVs there. The fire did not spread to the home. There's no cause yet for the fire, and that fire is still under investigation. A drums teacher is facing DUI charges. 54-year-old Kathleen Ann Beltrami was charged in a hit-and-run accident, which happened a few weeks ago. Police say she was turning from Old Turnpike Road onto Route 309 when she hit Benjamin Minnick, who was on a motorcycle. Beltrami pulled over, asked whether Minnick was all right, then took off. But she left a trail of auto fluids, which police followed to her home. They found her vehicle there. Police say her blood alcohol content level at the time of the accident was 0 .23. 0 .08 is legally drunk. She's facing eight counts, including DUI and hit and run. Guilty on all counts. That's the verdict in the trial of 26-year-old Wanda Lee Balcasser and 29-year-old Tony Hazard Edwards. They were convicted of attempted murder in a shooting last year at the Interfaith Heights apartment complex in Wilkes-Barre. They were convicted of shooting 22-year-old Sherry China Rivera and 22-year-old Izzy Ramos Ramirez in the head. Both survived. Both will be sentenced November 8th. Balcasser is looking at 20 to 40 years in prison while Edwards is looking at 40 to 80 years. Former Wilkes-Barre area towing contractor Leo Glodzik was sentenced today to two and a half years in federal prison. The 45-year-old Wilkes-Barre native was sentenced on charges of mail fraud, being a felon in possession of a firearm, and subscribing to a false federal income tax return. According to United States Attorney Peter Smith, the charges filed in March arose as a result of the towing contract Glodzik's firm, LAG Transport Incorporated, had with the city of Wilkes-Barre for the exclusive rights to tow all vehicles as requested by the city. The contract began in January of 2005 and ended in June of 2013 after the disclosure of complaints from residents related to LAG's towing practices, all of which led to the federal investigation. The investigation established that LAG towed vehicles supposedly as the results of accidents, police incidents, or vehicle abandonment took the vehicles to locations owned and controlled by Glodzik. Overall, the investigation led to the conviction of four individuals. Glodzik was also ordered to pay approximately $299,000 in back taxes and penalties and directed to report to the Bureau of Prisons to begin serving his sentence in October 24th. A Tamaqua restaurant owner is accused of swindling an elderly couple out of $315,000. The trial opened Monday in the case of Alfonso Alfie Picon, owner of La Dolce Casa. He's accused of taking the money from 94-year-old John Bernard and his late wife, Ella. On the witness stand, Bernard said he was aware that Picon had taken checks for $20,000 and $30,000 from his wife, Ella, but he was under the impression that the money was to be repaid. He said Ella wanted to help out with the restaurant. The Bernards had been going to the restaurant for over 20 years and had gotten friendly with the Pacones. But when asked whether he ever gave Pacone permission to take $300,000, Bernard said never. Testimony continued today in Schuylkill County Court in Pottsville. 911 is back in all of Schuylkill County. It was down for much of Monday in the 467 phone exchange. That's Barnesville. The county has not said what caused that outage. Well, Fun Fest has come and gone, but the parade is still on WYLN for your viewing pleasure. The 2016 Fun Fest parade on Sunday, September 11th, was taped in its entirety and hosted by WYLN's very own Gary Perna and Abby Piskel. The parade featured local businesses, nonprofit organizations, bands from around our area, and high school marching bands. You can catch the rebroadcast of the parade during the dates and times listed up on your screen now. The next airing of this year's Fun Fest Parade will be Thursday, September 22nd from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Time now for our first look at our forecast. A bit of fog in the early morning with some clear skies, but what can we expect for the rest of our work week? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with all the details. Joe?
our area and uh, we did see uh, the sunshine, some fog, and we have to deal with that again tomorrow and then some cooler temperatures for the weekend, seven day forecast coming up in a few. Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, a former Hazleton area school board member is recalling when she, along with other fellow board members, tried to separate from the Hazleton area school district. Plus, the Bloomsburg Fair is just around the corner. And what will fairgoers be able to expect this year? Our Abby Piscal of the details. More news, weather, and sports is coming your way only on WYLN. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Paula Dagnan, Chief Videographer Mike Lula, Weather with Meteorologist Joe Garbacek, and Sports with Eric DeBerardinis. Introducing the all-new Hazelton Kia, where you are set for life. Where every new vehicle purchased includes a lifetime warranty, lifetime oil and filter changes, lifetime car washes, lifetime loaner vehicles, and lifetime state inspections. Plus, check out this amazing deal on a 2016 Kia Optima. Right now, with zero down for only $159 per month. Or buy it for $18,998. Hazelton Kia, where you are set for life. One of the largest fairs on the East Coast, the 161st Bloomsburg Fair, September 24th to October 1st. Stop by for livestock exhibits and a close and personal elephant encounter. Take a ride on the carousel. The grandstand boasts a lineup of entertainment you don't want to miss. Always a wide variety of attractions and food vendors. Visit them on the web at bloomsburgfair.com or call 570-784-4949. At Booty's Place, they're known for delicious homemade food at affordable prices. And now, there's so much more, like an elevator for easy upstairs access and refurbished interior with an outdoor patio that's now open. To keep their food second to none, Chef Bobby is back. They're making their own fresh pasta, have a new state-of-the-art kitchen, and an updated menu. There are still old favorites like Grandma's Pizza, plus new dishes, all with fresh ingredients. Booty's Place, still definitely the best. Hello. Violin News, I'm Erin Harvey, and today I'm joined by Carol Druniak, who 30 years ago tried to split the Hazleton Area High School. So if you want to tell me a little bit about that and what happened. Okay. We are doing, we did pretty much what the young people want to do today, and that is to have our own high school in the Valley, our own school district. However, th there are not enough laws to, permi to permit that to happen. So in order to do it, you have to find another school district who is willing to accept you as part of their administration. That does not mean that the students would be transferred to that district. It just means that we would build our own school and the administration would be done by the other district. That is the only law in Pennsylvania that permits any kind of separation or making one district smaller and going to another smaller district. Um, we attempted that, as I said, 30 years ago with the Bowick School District, and we did everything we were supposed to do. That is, 51% of the taxable inhabitants had to sign a petition, and that's in the process what they are doing now also. Um, and then we took that to the State Department of Education. They approved of it and we were all set to go. And in the meanwhile, some politics entered into it and raised its ugly head. And so the politicians from Hazleton did not want the Valley to leave. We are a huge tax base for our Hazleton School District. So they didn't want us to leave, and they went to Berwick and talked them out of agreeing to accept us. So it was at the very final end that we did not succeed, unfortunately, because smaller school districts and smaller schools are much more advantageous for students. And that's what we were trying to prove. That is what we proved to the State Department of Education, and they agreed with us. Um, I just wish there were a law that would allow a group of parents to separate from a monster district and establish a smaller one because it's better financially, educationally, and socially. 
and that's what we presented to everybody at the time as well. It's just that there is no law to uh, enable us to do that. So, I mean, right, so what you were trying to do 30 years ago, a few parents from the Hazleton Area School District are trying to do that right now. So what problems did you predict and that are currently happening that they're kind of just trying to do this again? Well, um, they were not aware of the fact that we tried to do that 30 years ago. The problems are very much the same, except that in those days, um, many of the elementary schools particularly, had similar standards that they met. Right now, the Valley School and the Drums Elementary School have the highest standards within the Hazleton School District. And it is said, I don't know this for fact, but it is said that they're wanting to transfer some of the good students from the Valley Schools up to the Hazleton Elementary Schools to help raise the uh, test scores, I think that's a disaster. To have kids even longer on buses than they are on buses right now. We know that the transportation has been dreadful since the beginning of the year. Um, kids have been left. Other children have been dropped off where they're not supposed to be dropped off. It's just a miracle that some child wasn't really hurt or worse, taken because of the poor transportation system that they had here. And now to consider transporting kids even farther away from where they live and where their friends are to another school on the other side of the district, it makes no sense to me. What does make sense is if the state would permit us to build our own high school, which is what we wanted 30 years ago. We did predict the shift of children into the valley. This was the area that was growing. It is still the growing area. And so we felt we deserved and should have had our own high school. So is there any advice you'd like to give the parents out there trying to do this, trying to break away from the school district right now? Just stick to it, abide by the law, do what you need to do for signatures, have those signatures approved by the court. Do exactly the procedure that you're supposed to do. But most importantly, make certain that you have a school district who is firmly willing to accept you and um, not back out on you in the last minute or two. If that doesn't work, then the parents ought to work with the representatives and try to get the law changed, that it, it's just disastrous to have these large consolidated school districts. Hazleton is one of the largest and one of the poorest functioning, I might add. So. <laughs> well, th well, thank you so much. We You're appreciate welcome. it. And Carol did say that she is willing to speak at any functions that you need. So stay tuned for more news coming your way only on WILN. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Beach Mountain Lakes Restaurant and Lounge is open to the public Wednesday through Sunday. They offer great food and entertainment with a beautiful lake view from their 100-foot deck. Wednesday is lasagna night, Thursday is the burger bash, and Sunday is clam night. Check out their live entertainment every weekend. Mike Stower Coal and Oil Fuel Delivery, with automatic delivery and budget plans available. 24-hour furnace service, discount pricing for businesses and restaurants. Call them for a quote. Also, propane is now available, with a portion of the annual proceeds going to the Cancer Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness. Accepting major credit cards, call 570-636-0503. StowerColeAndOil.com.
Zaner's Automotive Incorporated has been providing complete towing and wreckage recovery service. They also offer emergency truck and trailer repairs and roadside assistance. Located at 213 East Broad Street in Hazleton, call them at 570-454-0541. All right, it's been a uh, pretty nice day today, despite the morning fog we had across our area. Then the sunshine came out. It was pretty nice, a little bit of some rain, light rain earlier, and some drizzle, some mist, and like I said, that fog only amounted to a hundredth of an inch of precipitation right here. Temperature-wise, not too bad today. Tomorrow, pretty much going to be a repeat of what we saw today. And you know what? We're going to be looking at some cooler temperatures, especially as we go into the weekend and as we start going into next week, probably not going to get out of the 60s for daytime high temperatures. All right, let's take a look at temperatures right now. And overall, they are pretty nice outside. Those numbers, we are in the 80s. It feels very comfortable outside. And literally, the wind is non-existent. We really don't got to worry about it whatsoever. We did get managed to get up to... 81 degrees for the high. The morning wasn't too bad for the early morning low temperatures, but I tell you what, those low temperatures are going to get quite chilly as we progress into the seven-day forecast, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Throughout the state of Pennsylvania, here's what it's been looking like. Oh, well, we got some 70s, we got some 80s out there, we got the lower 80s in Williamsport as well as State College, Harrisburg, Philadelphia, Allentown, upper 70s out there in uh, Mount Pocono, 81, Wilkes Barre, Scranton International Airport, and again, every location generally seeing plenty of sunshine. And again, those winds really non-existent for the most part. We don't have to worry about them whatsoever. Now, on a seven-day extended forecast, some cool temperatures ahead, but not for tomorrow. Some morning fog, and then after that, lots of sunshine, 82 degrees. A repeat as we go into our Thursday, mostly sunny, 82. Fall will officially arrive here and 1021 in the morning, it'll be exact, and it'll be nice. But then after that, it's going to feel fall-like going into the weekend. But Friday looking good, again, for the high school football games, knock on wood. It's been pretty good all the Friday so far. Another good one at this point in time, 77. And then we're going to be in the 60s as we go into the weekend. A lot of sunshine now mixed with some clouds going into early next week, looking pretty good. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, all of those at this point remaining dry, but cool at night, dropping down into the 40s. We'll have a lot more for you coming up after this break. It's a kickoff classic sale at Burger Buick GMC Cadillac Route 93 Hazel Township. Save up to $4,000 on selected 2016 Buick Regals or save up to $6,000 on selected 2016 Buick Encores from stock. Save up to $9,000 on selected 2016 GMC Yukon Denali's from stock. It's a kickoff classic sale at Burger Buick GMC Cadillac Route 93 Hazel Township. Burger family dealerships drive with experience. When you need used auto parts, call Bonner Enterprises. They also take your junk cars and trucks, offering competitive prices. They also deliver anti-skid shale and clay. Located at 410 Maplewood Drive in the Humboldt Industrial Park, call them at 570-384-3291. Nespoli Jewelers in Berwick offers the perfect mix of fine and fashion jewelry. Expand your Alex and Ani jewelry collection at Nespoli Jewelers or design a one-of-a-kind engagement ring. Nespoli Jewelers, mixing fine and fashion. 108 East Front Street in Berwick. Stop at Zakovich's Farm Market, 432 Fairview Street in Tamaqua, for all your fresh-picked seasonal produce. When you're done, stop right next door at the Rough Cut Barbecue and choose from a delicious menu. Produce stand is open daily from 9 a.m. to 6, and the Rough Cut Barbecue is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, noon until 7. Zakovich's Farm Market and Rough Cut Barbecue, 570-467-2039. It's only four days until the 161st annual Bloomsburg Fair, and tonight our Abby Piskel has a look at what this year's fairgoers can expect. The Bloomsburg Fair begins this Saturday, September 24th, and continues until Saturday, October 1st. This year will be the 161st annual fair with plenty of food, entertainment, vendors, and more. President of the Bloomsburg Fair, Paul Reichert, says that the food provided at the fair is something that always brings people back. 
One thing that brings people back to the Bloomsburg Fair is the food that's supplied here. You can find all kinds of vendors that have different varieties of food. I think the free entertainment has a big factor. And, and it's a lot of it's reunions. People come back here to visit for their, with their friends or families. And it's just a, a tremendous reunion for everybody. Not only are there food vendors set up throughout the fairgrounds, giving fairgoers a variety to choose from, but also a variety of entertainment selections as well. The free entertainment, we got a good group of uh, free entertainers. It's on the free stage. All this costs money, but it's uh, part of the fee to get into the prop, uh, fairgrounds. And uh, got a couple of good free shows up at Millennium Park, which is the uh, Dock Dogs, and also the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And the, the Bengal Tires, yet the Bengal Tigers will be down at the west end of the fairgrounds, which is a very important uh, educational tiger program. Each year the Bloomsburg Fair has big name entertainers performing at the grandstand. Although these tickets do cost money, the quality of entertainers ranging from Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons to Lee Bryce are some that you don't want to miss. Other big items we have here is the major entertainers. You know, it's getting more difficult year after year to get the right personnels here. Uh, some of the big stars we can't afford. So, but we, we kind of select a little bit of variety, hopefully a little rock, a little country, a little variety. And uh, like I say, it's getting difficult each year. Again, the Bloomsburg Fair begins this Saturday, September 24th through Saturday, October 1st. For more information, visit Bloomsburg. Fair.com. For WILN News, I'm Abby Piskel. Thank you, Abby. Coming up next, Eric D. Berardinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Stay tuned. At All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Ram Power Days and Jeep Celebration event. Stop in today. Electric Frog Designs, 323 North Hunter Highway, Route 309 Drums, offering full-color banners and signs, vehicle lettering and graphics, campaign signs, promotional products, trophies, plaques and medals, 788-2333. Since 2001, Hazelton Imaging has been offering the best care, a staff that is kind and courteous, and a radiologist on site. Hazelton Imaging is less expensive than most hospitals, and they offer self-pay pricing. Call Hazelton Imaging today at 570-501-SCAN. The Rail Riders are already champions. That can't be taken away. Scranton Wilkes-Barre, the best in the International League, but tonight they have the chance to claim the title of the best in all of AAA baseball. At 8 o'clock Eastern, the Riders will take on the El Paso Chihuahuas from the Pacific Coast League in the AAA National Championship game. No series here, just a one-game winner-take-all format. The matchup will be played at the home of the Memphis Redbirds in Tennessee. Jordan Montgomery on a mound for the Rail Riders. They're not snap judgments anymore. We have 16 quarters to evaluate high school football teams at this point in the season. We unveil our post-week four power rankings. Wyoming Valley West wants the Beasts on the board now at number seven after two straight losses to 6A schools. Pottsville at six after suffering their first defeat to Harrisburg, but the schedule should get easier in league play for the Tide. Blue Mountain couldn't stick with Wyoming missing, but the Eagles still showed fight and talent. Berwick struggled with Crestwood, but overcame adversity and their starting quarterback being injured. The Dogs in at number four. The top three remain the same, but they're very close. Not much separation. Williamsport showed they are the real deal, topping Valley West. The millionaires are officially here. Schuylkill Haven took care of their fourth straight big school opponent. The Hurricanes a real threat in the statewide AA picture. 
But number one remains Wyoming area, something we definitely did not foresee at the beginning of the year. After stunning Berwick, the Warriors beat another playoff team from last year, Coughlin, quite convincingly, on Friday. District 2 football, with strong representation on Penn State roster this season, but one of those alum will no longer be taking the field this season. Today it was announced that senior linebacker Naeem Wortman white a Valley View graduate, will miss the remainder of 2016 after su suffering an injury versus Temple on Saturday. Wortman white went down last year in the Nittany Lions' first game versus Temple and missed the entire year, so a tough break for him. In 2016, through two and a half games, the former Cougar had 14 tackles, three and a half for a loss, and a half a sack. Penn State on the road this Saturday at Michigan. And Eagles right tackle Lane Johnson officially suspended 10 games by the NFL today for violating the league's substance abuse policy, but he plans to appeal, so Johnson will be able to play this Sunday versus the Steelers. That's it for sports. Stay tuned. When I'm elected, things will change, but I promise you one thing, no one will beat a Fairway Chevrolet deal. No one! Fairway Chevrolet Route 309 in Hazel Township. Hey, no one beats a Fairway deal. No one. I don't care what my opponent said. I knew for a very long time that no one beats a Fairway Chevrolet deal. No one. Fairway Chevrolet Route 309 in Hazel Township. Hey, no one beats a Fairway deal. No one. S.J. Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call S.J. Kowalski at 570-455-2600. It's high school football time. Watch WILN for all the local high school football action as we bring you the event, not just the highlights, like only WILN can. Watch the game of the week right here on WILN. We're your local network. For the best in local sports, watch WILN TV 35. The event, not just the highlights. Alrighty, well, we had the fog today. We had the sunshine overall nice in terms of temperatures. And tomorrow is going to be a repeat of what we saw today for our Wednesday. It's looking pretty nice. We'll have some of that fog around tomorrow. And once that fog burns off, well, we'll see sunshine mixed with some clouds looking pretty good. 82, 82 as we go into our Thursday. Keep in mind that we're going to be greeted first day of fall, 1021 in the morning. But it's going to feel more summer-like in the 80s. Then we drop into the 70s for Friday, lots of sunshine. And in the 60s for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And it's going to feel fall-like. And by that time, it will be officially fall. And some of those overnight lows, I'll tell you what, it's going to be kind of chilly out there. We're going to be dropping down into the 40s. But you know what? Still, we got 60s this time of year. It's still not too bad as we're slowly but surely starting to get closer and closer to October. And that's closer and closer to Thanksgiving, which is closer and closer to Christmas and closer Whoa. and closer to New Year's. We're just rushing this that's, year. That's We're under 100 days away from that's Christmas. Calendar works. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Don't rush it, though. <laughs> Don't rush it, though. No, I, like, I like the fall, which is... The fall's nice. The leaves and changing colors. Yeah, but today definitely felt like a day in August. It was hot, nice out, but no, this morning, bad. morning the fog was a little rough. Yeah, it was dense. Yeah, especially if you're out on those roads, so make sure to be careful. I know a couple people have their four ways on, so. Yeah, got to take it easy out there. All right, sounds good. Well, uh, hopefully that weather for Friday stays with us because. It's been good so far. All right, well, knock on wood, it stays like that. Halfway point of the season. Sounds good. Have a good night, everyone.